Okay, so today I'll be talking about Ethereum. I'll be going over some important technical analysis why you need to be aware of this particular region. And also I'll be going through some very important fundamental analysis, very important stuff today. So stay tuned, watch to the very end. And if you're new here, subscribe to the Crypto Busy channel. My name is Tom and this is Crypto Busy. So I'll also be talking about Ethereum's price, where it might be going by this year. Can it reach $800? Can it go further than that? $5,000? Can it go to its all-time high? I will be discussing the Ethereum price by how it will be at the end of this year in the next bull run at the end of 2021 and also beyond that as well so stay tuned so it's coming up to christmas so make sure that you get 40 percent off token metrics you can use our link down in the description below also on top of that we'll leave all of our necessary bybit and also coin market manager links in the description below when you sign up with bybit you get free lifetime access that's right free lifetime access to coin market manager when you use our link with bybit so sign up deposit and start trading today. Also, don't forget to follow us on Twitter and also join our Telegram group chat. Now, into the video itself. So we've seen Ethereum do some really crazy moves recently with going up to $600 and also more than that as well. What's, what's happening recently with Ethereum? It's really good stuff. It's an amazing project as well. They've got a great team behind it and they're doing a lot of good things at Ethereum. There's also this Ethereum 2.0 that will be launched relatively soon, hopefully this month, definitely by the beginning of next year. So lots of good stuff happening fundamentally for Ethereum in the short term, which is good to see. If you look at the price of Ethereum at the moment, it bottomed out around the sort of $90, $90 around that sort of area, $88 to see us somewhere else as well. And uh, we just had a massive rush up and we've gone out to that crypto winter. You know, we're, we're out of that crypto winter now. So you need to forget about, you know, the price action of what we had back in 2018 and also parts of 2019. This is a new paradigm, a new era for crypto and also most importantly for Ethereum. So if you look at the market at the moment, you're seeing Bitcoin reaching that $19,000 region again. The Bitcoin dominance is staying the same. So my thinking is that we'll see some of the altcoin funds go into the Bitcoin price itself. So in the short term with the Bitcoin price, you may see the altcoins just drop that little bit for Bitcoin to go up to those new highs. So this is really interesting stuff where Bitcoin might be going in the short term, but I think in the long term, it's going to be good for all altcoins across the board and also for Bitcoin itself. I think fundamentally Bitcoin can go to that six figure territory and also with Ethereum, it can go back to its four figure territory again and potentially even five figures as well. And I'll be discussing the timeframes for that later on. So going into some technical analysis for Ethereum at the moment, now you can see here, this is a, a zoomed out chart of Ethereum at the moment. And this major bar that you're seeing right now, that is the major piece of resistance for Ethereum in the immediate short term. Now, the reason being for that is because it reached $800 before and it crashed before it went all the way up to its all time high. And then it corrected and then it reached the $800 region again. And then it corrected all the way down to $88 or $90, whatever it was in the same year. So in the same year, you saw Ethereum go from $1,400 all the way down to its all time low in the past four years. So this is insane for the Ethereum price. So this is a very key area for where Ethereum can go by the end of this year. I do think, and we have been saying Secret to Busy for quite some time, that Ethereum can reach $800 by the end of this year. We're about to enter December and a lot can happen in the space of a month. So you can see already the price action in the space of just a few months going from $340, $350 to all the way to $600 itself. And we're reaching that price point again. So I do think it's very important for Ethereum's price point in the immediate short term. But I do think that $800 region, I'll be eyeing that up over the next few days and also weeks. This is very important for Ethereum. If it were to correct then, and I would be seeing lower lows in the in the immediate short term and correcting to around the sort of $400. If it smashes through the $800 region, then I do think we're into a new paradigm for Ethereum itself. So my next aim for Ethereum after that, if it reaches and breaks through the $800 region will be the $1,000 region. And then on top of that, after that, it will be the new all time highs for Ethereum. So time scales, where do I think this thing will go in the next year? So I said by the end of this year, I do think it can reach $800. If it were to reject that $800 region, then I do think we'll see a correction of around the sort of $300 to $400 region, but only in the short term. I think in the long term, in a new bull run, I think this bull run is going to be absolutely insane. We'll see a massive shift of wealth in this next bull run. Uh, you know, much better than what we've seen in the previous bull runs itself. So I do think it can go to its all-time high of 1400. I think it can go further than that as well. If Bitcoin were to reach that six-figure territory, then I do think Ethereum can go into the five-figure territory itself. So I think it can go to $5,000 and potentially even further than that as well. If you look at everything what Ethereum is doing at the moment, 
they've got very important fundamental things. And this is an interesting thread that I'll also leave in the description below as well. I'll also give it a cheeky like. This is back in the 25th of November, so it's just about five days ago, talking about the fundamental analysis with Ethereum itself. So Ethereum has just under 500,000 daily active addresses, and this is the 90 day moving average. You can see a figure that has nearly doubled this year. So just this year, that figure has doubled. Lots more as well, with DeFi as well, going into DeFi, going into the ICOs as well. Many good things happened from that, but also a lot of bad things happened from that as well. But I think fundamentally, it's all good stuff in the long term for the culture of Ethereum, for the crypto market itself. This is really good stuff. Also, another thing as well is, is that more than $16 billion in stable coins have been issued on Ethereum, a figure that has been gone parabolic since the beginning of this year, a sign of major demand for crypto dollars themselves. So your usual Tether or your usual US USDC, that is very important because when you give out your, your Tether address or your USDC address, you're giving out an Ethereum address, essentially. Um, it's sort of like the, it's on the Ethereum blockchain, and that's why a lot of people are having demand for Ethereum itself, for crypto. So it mixes itself all together. And this is very important for Ethereum's price in the long term because a lot of people like to use the Ethereum blockchain. And that's why I say fundamentally, it is a very cool project. It's a very good project itself. It's got a great team behind it as well. So I do think it can do great stuff in the future. Now, what's the drawbacks? I think a major drawback for Ethereum is that again, with that ICO boom back in 2017, um, a lot of people scammed a lot of people out of that. There are a lot of sharks in the crypto game and especially right now, there are gonna be a lot more sharks as well. So do be aware of that. Um, so with the ICO boom back in 2017, anybody could make a, a crypto token. And so what they would do is that they got this new cryptocurrency that's coming out. It's on the Ethereum blockchain. And so to enter that uh, token, to get that token itself, you need to buy that token with your own Ethereum. So a lot of people gave their Ethereum to uh, a central authority, a central uh, team itself. And then what they did is that they exit scam. So they dumped all the Ethereum that they managed to uh, acquire uh, through this token sale. And then they just dumped it onto the market. And that is not good for the Ethereum price. So I think that's a major drawback for Ethereum and hopefully with Ethereum 2.0, they can steer themselves away from that drawback. But overall, again, I do think it's really good stuff for Ethereum. Another thing as well is, is that we want to know your opinions about what we've been saying about in our videos. You know, we talk about a lot of things on the Crypto Busy channel, but at the same time, what makes it worthwhile, what makes it really important for us is your interactions. So make sure that you leave a like and also comment down below. Comment your thoughts about what we've been discussing today, about the Ethereum technical analysis, whether you want to see more of that and also the fundamental analysis as well, your thoughts and opinions around that. And also, I'm more than happy to debate you guys in the comments below and respond happily to see your comments down below as well. So comment, like, and also again, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. Now, if we go on to token metrics, which again is a resource that we like to use at CryptoBusy, We've, set, we've seen amazing return on investment with our trading life, with our trading careers, with token metrics itself. Um, you can go through any crypto project that's out there on the market and it breaks it down uh, by first of all, giving its summary, then price predictions, giving its fundamentals, its technology, the technical analysis, the performance metrics, and also the correlation as well. So whether you're an investor or a trader, token metrics is the right resource for you. Looking at the technology for Ethereum, it's giving a really high score of 98%. And to be fair, I'm not surprised by that score because again, the technology behind it is great. If you look at the fundamentals, again, great fundamental score as well. If you look at the technical analysis, it's giving a neutral technical analysis for Ethereum. And I think the reason being is because we're creeping up to the $800 region. So that's a major key area of resistance for Ethereum. So that's why I think token metrics is giving uh, that sort of neutral score for Ethereum in the short term. So this is really cool stuff that you use. You can also make your own portfolio and see how, how well that portfolio would perform over the upcoming weeks and also months using powerful AI. So it's an amazing resource to use. So we'd love to see you use it as well. So right now, I think this offer is gonna end very soon is that you can get 40% off token metrics off any plan when you use our link down in the description below. But afterwards, after that promotion, uh, just in normal times, you can get 10% off selected plans when you use our link down in the description below. You also help out the channel at the same time. So it's a great resource and it's a win-win for everybody. I'll also leave some necessary links down in the description below so you can check it out for yourselves in further detail. Uh, Ethereum at a crucial point, eight fundamentals indicate strong bullish trend. This is that tweet here as well, and it breaks it down into further detail in this article record setting bitcoin faces test after volatile week so this is an important week for crypto itself also with that as well i want to mention that we do have 
have a VIP coin course. Uh, we have a revamp, we brought in a new team and they've been providing great value for you. So if you want to have that competitive edge in the crypto market, you can join our VIP coin course. It's $25 plus VAT every month and it's all on Discord. So make sure that you have Discord as well. And also with that, there are webinars every two weeks with Josh and I. So it's a great opportunity for everybody to get involved in the crypto market. So that's Ethereum itself. Lots of good stuff happening for Ethereum. I do think over the next year, great stuff for Ethereum's price, especially that $800 region. And if it breaks that $800 region, then I do think it can go further than that as well into the five figure territory. But again, this is a marathon. This is not a hundred meter sprint. So again, do have that level mindset with that as well. Be safe with your investing, all that sort of good stuff. And especially right now, there'll be a lot more sharks in the game. So be aware of more scams that are out there. And we'll, Josh and I will do our best to make sure that you are aware of those scams. And again, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. So that's it for me in today's video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.